Now, this has been a video game that has received a tremendous amount of consideration. Whether it be from psychos on Twitter, psychos on YouTube, or psychos on Twitch, there's a lot of psychos that have been very interested in this game. A lot of people had very strong opinions about it, and I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna try it out for myself. People say something like that is problematic, I want to see for myself. And that way you learn. Here we go. The coffin. Lately, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and... What the fuck? I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Oh, so she's a crazy bitch. Good morning, Ashley. Ugh. All right. Uh, as much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it's time for a little interlude. It's titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. Okay, we'll just go get some food. Uh, inside the cabinets is nothing. Okay, we're on the table. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. Where's a fucking refrigerator? What about coffee? You can't have coffee? Let me go ahead and do something real quick. Yeah, that should be better. That way you guys can see more of the game. Alright, um... Okay, uh, can I go outside? The front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. Oh, that sounds like my house. Okay, what about the garbage? This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what's- wait, what? What's that? Got a can of tomato. Amazing, you should show that to your brother. Okay, is- is he- um, maybe he's down here? Oh, there he is. Hi. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! What's this? Let me move it up again. I'm trying to make this work. There we go. It should be better. Okay. Not the reaction you were hoping for? Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? That's the very last thing we have. I think we should hold on to it a little bit longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through a trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. How did you know that I was in? Because I hid it there, away from you. Oh, wow. Brother hiding tomato cans from each other? Just get on food stamps. Gasp. I'll live in a den of snakes. Don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Okay. Let's cook the tomatoes. Warden, good day. You're still alive in there. Oh shit, who's this? Hello, if you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And, and, and I don't bring food for the dead. Wait, what the hell is this? Food for the dead? You don't bring it to the living, either. I take that as a yes, still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guys screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? No, it's not my job. I'll check on you later. Bye. No, wait. Bro, why can't they just get their own food? Aren't they, like, 20 years old? Just walk down to the fucking convenience store and go get something, put it in your pocket, and walk out. He doesn't. God damn it. Yeah, what is this? Just steal something from the store. Oh wait, I, I gotta I gotta cook the um the tomatoes. Oh actually, what's in this house? Or what's in this door? Okay, what's here? The balcony door is locked. Okay, nothing's here. Can I go this way? Oh, I can. Oh, it's a bathroom. Oh. Oh. This place is a shithole. It's a washing machine. Detergent. Drinking this. M Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Okay, so we've got a Tide Pod enjoyer. Sigh. 
you boil the canned tomatoes and make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is a gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I've ever had. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. Is it in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? The neighbor's at it again? Want to go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Okay, we got the keys. All right, well, let's... Oh, now I've got both of them. Okay, unlock the balcony door. Oh, shit. I can't really see shit from here. Contemplate you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Don't even think about it. Ah, uh, it's no fun. Guess that's something I have to cross. Wait, what? An ashtray. There's no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. What the fuck? You can't cross. Okay, I've got to go find something. How about... It's a cleaning closet, various supplies. Okay, no nothing in here is good. Okay, what about this way? The bed? Your parents have... All right. Um, well, uh, what's on the bookshelf? Oh, crap. Are you all right? These goddamn do-it-yourself shows, I swear. Got a wooden plank. Oh, we got one. Oh, I didn't even realize that was where I was supposed to go. Okay, let's use the plank. Set down the wooden plank. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. The boxes are full of useless junk. Okay, what are the, what is, what's going on in here? What's this? Oh, de- What the fuck? Oh, demons from hell? Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that it was perfect. I knew I shouldn't have killed that. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Hmm. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Yeah, he's just, bro, he's just doing what he needs to do. Forget this. It's almost time they let us watch TV. Okay. Well, how do you watch TV? There's no TV in here, right? An alarm clock is ticking away. There's an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Laylee and the very the fuck? How dare you laugh at my artistic genius? The garbage you hold on to. Hey, I was proud of this one. I still am. It's still one of the best things you ever draw. Wait. Why did she just give me a heart? Hmm, I'll take that as a compliment. Ha ha. The trash... In the trash lie your hopes and... and dreams. Exactly where they belong. Okay. Sure. Where the fuck's the TV? Oh, that's a TV! Ah, the remote's dead. Just push the buttons on a TV. What a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything or- Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, woe is you. It is. Okay, so are we gonna watch TV now? Like, or can we play games? A VHS player cannot be eaten. Not with that attitude. A bunch of rented movies. Their due date is past ages ago, but what can you do? What is this, set in 2005? Mom won't pick up no matter how many times you call. You've also tried to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. Well, these guys are real idiots, huh? Because if I was DVDs? Well, like, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, this is like 19, 1999. Uh, did you find the batteries? Well, where are they? Oh, oh, I have to find them? Oh, fuck. The freezer's complete. Oh, that's a freezer. I didn't know that. Well, what about in here? 
Oh, it's got to be on the table, right? No. Or the fuck are the batteries? Okay. Um. I'll just go take it out of one of his things in his room. I think that's probably the best idea. Okay. Um. I'm gonna take it out of the alarm clock. Yeah. Got batteries. There it is. Yo, fuck that shit. Okay, I'll put it back in. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang-up job. More? Oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very excellence. You sit in awe. Yeah, you should sit too. It's starting. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. Happy to announce that all apartments to which tainted water have been delivered have been secured. It's been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll was now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Oh, I played this game before. Yeah, I did that in real life. Okay. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping uh, your disgusting parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued per, uh, consideration for the public safety. Uh, that's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Was oh, that our mom? Wait, mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at the hotel for a bit. I thought you said that we should stay home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom. Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from the carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The, wait, the nurse- Oh fuck, she got vaccinated? Uh-oh. Oh shit. It hurts like a motherfucker. There we go. And then now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go and please do after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. Ooh. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You don't get lazy around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I gotta go. Please don't call me anymore. I won't answer. Damn. I'm sorry. Mom's not- bro, she's not dealing with this shit. Yeah, where's the dad? After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house a bit. Why? Why would you do that? Can I go inside here? Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I could see that. Okay, well, I, I don't want to clean up the house. Like, fuck that. It's fine. Got a mop. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll clean these up. Mop some dirt. What else is there to take care of? That's it. It's fine. Yeah, everything else is good. Chore simulator? True. Oh, books on the floor. Okay, I'll clean these up. Okay. So people are mad about this game? You returned all the books to shelf. Now what else could you clean? Why are people mad about this game? This, this is like totally chill. There's nothing wrong here at all. Yeah, like this is, this is fine. I don't see any mess. Where's the mess? Trash bags? No, you can't do that. 
Maybe it's in here. Oh, I gotta put away his clothes? Why? He's just laying around. Picked up some laundry. Jesus. You're cleaning. What a waste of energy. He really is like me in high school. Yeah, it's about right. People really hate chores. Yeah. You're a waste of energy. Oh, what a fucking bitch. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it. Do we even have any detergent left? Oh, that's right. That's the stuff I was going to drink. Okay, I think it was over here, right? Nope, it wasn't. It was on the other one. Okay. There it is. Got detergent. Okay, let's go talk to him again. Triple dot. Andrew is too exhausted to chat. Bro, what a lazy bitch. And so now he's going to make me do the laundry? You run the laundry. Ooh. What's this? Question triple dot. You're feeling dizzy. Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. What the fuck? The hell is this? She dead? It's a vaccine. Oh my god. Yeah, remember? Because she got the vaccine earlier. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard that your loved ones, uh, from your loved ones, there's been supply shortages in the quarantined households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that's been taken care of. It has. Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, I'd like to remind all of you, do not enter the contaminated apartments. Not your friends. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is being taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up for a bit. Moving on to the next story. A brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. You're too tired to get the phone. There was one time whenever I was in high school. Maybe I was like 18 at the time. And, uh... My alarm went off, and I didn't want to get out of bed to turn off the alarm. And I let the alarm go off for four hours straight until the battery died. Instead of getting up and walking across the room and turning it off. That's right. Hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, go ahead. Someone's talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's mean- I, I mean, can't- I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but- Or, no, I mean, yes, but it doesn't- No, I'm not angry, I'm just- No, I- Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you don't lay in Ashley and we've had time to think, just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? All right, although I don't really see why I should be held accountable for. A faint bleep of a dropped call can be heard. Ah. Oh. Sigh. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Jesus. Damn. Oh, she dumped you? Wait, why is she happy about that? What a fucking bitch. Oh, why is that? Triple dot. Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-invested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined. Or because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. Ooh. 
There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now that you've been out for how, you know, how long, you figure you should check on your brother. Okay. Can I do anything here? No. Oh, what the fuck? Why is he in there? He not in there. What, what, what's he? What? What the fuck? Let's see if there's anything else I can click on. But there's not. He's gonna jump. Oh yeah, he might jump. You're right. Someone in front of your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from the windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please. I'm starving. Soon the ambulances leave in a hurry. Ooh. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Well, maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Somebody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got... Ooh. If I got... Pre oh. I can see why people... Yeah. Yeah, now I'm starting to get it. Yeah, I'm start. I'm starting to see kind of what the... Yeah, okay. Al we got an Alabama word here? <laughs> nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Oh, God. Okay, how would you get pregnant? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He might just end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought, jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you are fully revitalized and bursting with energy. She's sleeping on the wrong way for the bed. Bro, she's so slow. She's got crippling poison on. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Oh, now she's fast again. Hello? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? Oh. If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you. The delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang banging on the door. Or it'll be banging your head against the wall. Or it'll be me banging your head against... Holy shit. The man's footsteps fade away. This guy's an asshole. Don't you think they'll get real- Do you really think they'll get delivered today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. But I guess we'll see. And you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. <sighs> Sigh. Talk about something. I've got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. The nurse never came back either. Like, you don't want to monitor us? Ah, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. All right. Uh, well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. Haha. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. 
Oh, they're gonna, like, collectively kill each other. Or kill themselves. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. With such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush. Never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? It's no wonder your girlfriend dumped you if those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again, I wish he'd just... Did he summon... Did he summon the demon? He did. I think he did. Andrew. Oh, shit. I feel like you should check up on that. Alright, let's see. Oh. Can I, can I jump off the balcony? Does it, would it let me? No, it doesn't. Okay. I had to check, though, right? My lord, you've come. And you're, uh... A little smaller than I had imagined. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all that I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, I don't have much to give right now. But if you can help me get out of here, I can get you anything that you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Wait, what? Darkness clouds your vision and you can't see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Nice! Get into his house and steal his stuff! That's great! Bro, yeah! So I'm already delirious, so did you see that too? Uh, do you want to go check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? No, I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life. You make it sound like we're gonna die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's gotta be something uh, this guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time. <laughs> okay, yeah, it sounds great. Shut up and let's get in there. Okay, do I go through the, uh, the window? The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Just break, break in. Just break, break in. Okay, um... Got an ashtray. Oh, I see. I'm gonna throw it through the fucking window. Oh, shit! Do I, oh, I threw it through there. That's a good idea, too. Okay. You talk to this guy? That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. It sure is! What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, it is- is it still illegal if we didn't try to kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, y y you know... Oh, you want to eat him? Uh, th th isn't that what you were insinuating? No, I was just making an observation. No, uh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime, too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Bro, this bitch is crazy. The staff admit that they didn't give us food, though. Oh, true. And before that, you're gonna tell them that a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Uh... Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Um... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah, alright, let's do it! Yeah, no body, no crime, exactly! Alright, then let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. What's wrong? Yeah, what's the problem? Oh, we got the axe right there, okay. Got a cleaver. So, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop off the cultist's... 
Um, I think we're gonna go with right arm. Next up is left arm. Oh, we can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest. Meanwhile, I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. But we're good, right? Like, let's just go get the arms. You need to conceal this before taking it with you. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, can we put it in a bag? Both the fridge and the freezer are empty. Oh, that sucks. Just as locked as your door. Okay. We've got to go around in this guy's house. The bathroom smells of feces, and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Okay. Maybe in here? The closet's big enough to hide in. Oh, really? Hmm. Hmm. What's this? On a table six of... Sits a book titled, Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Now, they actually have 665 volumes after that. She asked the important questions. But what I want to know is who the hell wrote this in the first place? Undisclosed. The author must be shy. Well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Okay. You're not turning the music off after all? It's growing on me. I'm turning it off. Okay, so we got to go get the bag, right? For the kid? Or sorry, for the guy that we're, we're, we're trying to cut him up, aren't we? So like, do we have like a bag or something? Well, yes, these perfectly suitable plastic bags are also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat that you're about to eat inside of a used trash bag. Find something else. Okay, maybe it's in like the laundry or something. Maybe there's like a bag in here? No. Andrew must return this here? No. Got some plastic bags. All right, we got it out of the cupboard. Great. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll, we'll... Got the left leg. Okay. Got the right leg. Got the right arm. Got the left arm. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big, en big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. You see? If anyone happens to be looking out the window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I just use two bags. Listen, this isn't gonna... Ta-da! Look at that! Wow! Okay, yeah, perfect! Haha. -ha. Good God, don't make me laugh like this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, enough, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be enough room for them in the freezer. I'll stuff the torso and the head in his freezer now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Andrew said he'd deal with this. Okay, great. What's this? Take the limbs out of the freezer before they start decaying? Okay. Alright, let's go. We'll put him in the freezer. Where the fuck is the freezer? Do I need to put him in his freezer? Do we even have a freezer? Oh yeah, it's right here. That's right. Seven limbs in a freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? Um, let's eat the left arm. All right, time to cook. Okay, let's cook it. You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch, munch, huh? What? Oh, you already? Okay. Oh, delicious. It's a $2 steak. No, this one was free. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. Ooh. Doesn't taste like McDonald's at all. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Oh, my, she wants him to eat. She's making him eat it. She's making him eat it. Mmm. Okay. This is crazy? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. What a bitch. Swallow. Oh my god. Ugh, all of it. Gulp? Oh, he eats it. Well, how was it? 
It's... Uh, God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Jesus. Quit your nagging, woman. <laughs> I'll quit your nagging, you big baby. Oh, I'll eat it, alright? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy. I'm so proud. Just fuck off. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. Well, I've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? Well, I don't know. Maybe co coriander? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow, then. I'm off to bed now. Night-night. Yeah, good night. Okay. Well, that went pretty well. Hey, Ashley, if we ever get out of here, you really need to get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. Wait, is he calling you crazy? I mean, he ate it too, you know? It's not like she's the only one. And then you fall asleep fully content. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. Oh, somebody said she likes you. Oh. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no. Haha. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. Oh, man. Yeah? I'll make her think twice before stealing, a, a, before stealing from another woman. Oh, yeah, you're a girl, too. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, some of you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you. I'm the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously! Mom gave me some money to buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. You should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Andy, no, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder on how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Sigh. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Laylee Get and a Bitch in the Box. One day you'll be a bitch in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. <laughs> oh my god. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out and play, and when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these Jesus. What's taking him? He wouldn't have forgot our plans, would he? Oh, there she is. Finally. Huh, what are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom that you're here? No, why? Heh, <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine Intervention. What's that even mean? <laughs> it means she's full of crap. Don't listen. Uh, so are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. So let's find a way in right now. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Got hammer. Ooh. Okay. Can I break this? Oh, there we go. The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. Though he might, uh, though I'll, I wouldn't mind convincing whoever to jump anyway. Maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong? No, but we can't go this way. Okay. What about through here? Why'd they nail this metal sheet on the wall? It looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. 
What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As I literally- as in I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Even though it's this flimsy. Yes. We'll just give him the hammer. I like smart guys over the beefy ones. Who asked? <laughs> Jesus! We'll just open it anyway. You use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Ooh. It sure is kind of dusty in here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Oh, you're such a kid. Andy wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally got... You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'm gonna be it. I'll count to ten. Hundred. Count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two... All right, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She says she knows no one. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Laylee, you promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Well, there's this, we'll use this box right here. Oh, now this'll do. There isn't any lock on it though. Well, do we actually want to lock her in? The hell we don't. Place a stick on it or something before the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No. If she's hunched inside, I doubt that she'll have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Hide, hide. Okay, so we get inside. Um. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty well hidden here. Where, where the fuck do I hide? Oh, we go in here? This container's already full. Uh... I... Pfft. I gotta go over here. Can I get in this box? Oh, here we go. Where do we get a stick anyway? Andy picks up whatever wooden Debris is at his feet. I guess this'll do. Hmm. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick or... No, what do you think, dumbass? She's fine, I guess. Hmm. Oh, she's upset. Oh. Found you! Both of you! Who hides in the same spot, idiots? It was my spot first. Then you're it. No way. Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Is my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take- Oh, shit! Bro, she's gonna put her in the box! Okay. She about to put her in the box! Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred. Oh shoot, he's coming. Hurry, hurry. Oh, no, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Oh, God. She's on the box. Yep. Huh? What was that? <laughs> I got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. They don't even know her name. This isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. I can't breathe. Is she all right? Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's, it's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Cough. Everyone likes her better. I bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. She's fucking nuts. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend uh, than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you. I don't want... And bet, I bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's, maybe she did, but... Oh, she's crying. It's not fair. Why does everybody like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and nobody likes me at all. I like you better, Laylee. Prove it, liar. Sigh. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so. Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say, 
Well, oh, uh, sure, talk is cheap. God damn it. Con oh, shit. Oh, shit, they locked a little girl in there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Just until morning, okay? Yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? You get to stay in there until morning. No, please. Let me out, please. Ashley, wait. Don't... Ashley, please. Ashley! Ashley? Are you awake? I am now. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing. It's just... Yeah, what the fuck do we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine. Just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Um, yes. Hello, sir. He summoned a demon and then he died. I swear we didn't do it. Y yeah, we wouldn't have to have to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine. Let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh, there goes my magic wand. Oh, I've all... I've absolved you of all of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Ugh. Isn't this some kind of extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know. There, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like it didn't fit in the freezer properly. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I just... Uh, I just kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some kind of plant, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. I can't fucking sleep. Ashley, it's... Come here. Oh my god. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> we got ourselves an Alabama alert! How are you so unbothered? I don't know, I compartmentalize. Kinda like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley! <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Oh boy, Andrew. Andrew. Andy? A. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. M wow, wow, mommy, the big bad did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Make me, you little bitch. Now oh, forget this. Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Laylee's quest for something or another, remember? But why bring this up? Well, isn't this just another one of those? Oh, it's so romantic. Look at this. Wow. I'm an only child. Is this normal? Yeah. Yeah, this is normal, guys. Yeah, this happens to a lot of siblings pretty regularly. Um... I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation. Then, uh, then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like, I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we could have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no. I don't. They throw us in jail right after. Why don't you just throw the- why don't you just throw the corpse off the window? Throw it into somebody else's yard. Yeah, it's their problem now. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Uh, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. 
This episode is titled, Andy and Laylee and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try, good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Ah, uh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. Ah ha ha. Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. There's a note stuck to the door. It reads, Awaiting thy arrival back at the cultist lair, Andy. I knew he'd come around. Though for a moment there, I honestly thought this was going to be a suicide note. Well, no matter. Let's see what he's up to. The freezer is full of delicious meat. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, boy. Okay. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at the Steam and Summoning Instruction Manual thing. Brave, given the way things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point where he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's the good. Then we'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. They're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. So I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did, but I do think this is our best bet for now. So what do we ask from it? Oh, I don't know yet. Well, then what do we bargain with? Why don't we why don't use the guy's head? The severed guy's head. Nice. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's got to be that. Well, where do we get a soul while stuck in here? Well, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Though I thought about it. Let me keep my thoughts to my own. Don't we share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up the ritual for now. Damn. Damn, so it's just, it, it's just like that, huh? It's just like that. Mm. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start replacing the candles for now. Okay. Got two candles. Replace one candle. Replace another candle. And let me get one candle. And I'm going to replace this candle. There we go. All right. Now what? Done. What now? Now we... Still alive and kicking, are you? Ooh. Dude, oh, shit. Uh, you've been quite lately, uh, quite, quite... You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a bit worried there. Uh, sigh. Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. Fine. I'll check it after my round. The warden's footsteps move away after the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Go stall him at the door. I'll clean this up. He's gonna find a guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. No! Go, before he notices we're not home. And I'll keep mopping until we've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You've got it. You get to be the corpse if you're not going already. What are you gonna do? Lick it clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Oh. Okay. Let me go do that. I mean, it is kind of what she did the other day, though, right? I mean, like, it's not really that big of a difference. But where's this? Where, where's he? No, 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 listen, it'll be a trade. I told you I'm not interested. I've got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you jack off. I thought you said it's fine literature. Oh, yeah, it's real fine. Like how? You'll have to see for yourself. I'll trade you one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. Well, maybe it's a genre I don't like. Read me a sample? Like hell, I will. Did you want me to get in character, too? I don't want to go into this blind. Who knows what kind of crap you're reading? It's just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth 
uh, one of those multi-packs at least. Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles. One 10 pack. Push them in one by one and you'll get the book. Listen here. I'm the one holding all the cards here. So I decide what's always negotiations go on and on. What are you still doing here? Get to cleaning. Okay. I've got to go clean. I have to go clean. That's a big one. And actually, the warden is coming. Is that bad? Okay, maybe I should go in here. No. <laughs> just, just no. Huh? What are you doing in here? Uh, fuck. Sadly, the warden uh, soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Wait, oh shit! Okay, I'm gonna hide in the cupboard. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Well, can't we sacrifice this guy? Oh great, another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Oh, shit! Sigh. Oh, they got him! Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on, Laylee. Le now let's go play. Okay. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Landy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. Haha. -ha. So where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. And I'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? I'm not in the mood for this shit right now. All right. Oh, looky here. Got the key for room 405. Demon summoning. Okay, shouldn't we... He's still dead. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that. I thought we were going to use the candles. Couldn't we use his corpse as an offering? At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Uh-oh. Huh? What? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying that I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And no doubt be obvious we did something. Once this guy's shift ends... And the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. But you might have guessed I'm trying. Yeah, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you're probably going to find mom and dad, but I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned any of this actually yet. Yeah, it's even worse. Okay, so I want you to never contact anyone I know ever again. Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities. Is that it? Yes, exactly. Fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, isn't the it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? Oh, shit. I am not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in a day in hell that I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? Jesus. It's... I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's a half-dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm. Am I good? Can we go now? 
Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. Would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha! Huh. But it's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. You can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. Alright, let's get the hell out of here already. Oh, bro, this place sucks. Or oh, this is their house. This is all it took to keep us in a wooden board. It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. What's the slip, slip paper say? The paper slip taped on the door said 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know, don't care. Let's just focus. Oh, blood type. Unlock the door. Okay, so we can go inside. Okay, nice. Well, now we're free. 2XA, 1XB, okay. 1XO, but it's crossed over. Oh, that one's dead. I see. Let's go inside this person's house. Oh, it's a key. Got a key to room 302. Note on the fridge reads, Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. Oh, that's why we weren't getting the supplies. Away from 302, being hot doesn't count as being important. Stop asking. Half-eaten cup of noodles. Can I go in here? It's a toilet, nothing of interest inside, okay. Vero documents, selling organs. Wait, what? I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it. Looks like I've got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, it looks like it's recording the second floor. Let me see. There's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. He only had the key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Sigh. Well, shit. I think there's a warden on every floor. No, I probably work in pairs of two. Not like that anything to do with keep curious people away and pretend to feed us, I guess. How are we going to get around them? Don't ask me. There's a key here. The fourth floor key. Okay, what happens if I go down this way? Okay, I can't. All right, what happens if I go down this way? I can't. Okay. Elevator's out of order, because of course it is. Oh, okay. To go, third floor. Let's go third floor. And then 302, right? Oh, it's another girl. The fridge is full of food. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbor's from upstairs. Uh-oh. What are you doing here? Get out. We found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. What? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Now why would I want out? I get free food and I can play games all day long. Hey. Not too bad, huh? It's pretty good. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never... Hey! Alright! Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and wide open nicely? What a fucking bitch. Ashley! Fuck you. Get out, both of you. Leave before I make a scene. What's she playing? We're gonna take her food. Hey, did I give you my permission to go in there? We'll just go in here anyway, who cares? Can we take her food before we leave? No, we can't. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, I guess we have to leave. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? I guess you're just not pretty enough. Oh, man. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. 
It's okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not. But you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Oh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. All right. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So am I ugly then? Should I even have been fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. No, oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Okay. No Nodora 1XA, it's crossed over. Okay, what does this say? 2XB, okay. Go to fourth floor. And now we're going to go back to our house. Or actually, no, we're going to go into here. We have to set up the rest of the ritual. You double check if the warden had a gun tucked away somewhere, but all you find is a walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear the other warden if he tries to contact with this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal. At what point we're screwed anyway? If we call the warden over with this, we'll have a demon eat his soul. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, two birds with one stone. Though he'll come on guns, guns blazing. Oh, right. Well, let me think. Got a walkie-talkie. While you're at it, I'll ready the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. Okay, we've got to look at the instructions for, like, how to summon a demon. So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what the runes are, though. I'll just redraw what the guy already drawn. It seemed to work. Okay, well, let's get this guy's blood. You dip your digits in one of the warden's wounds. I got blood. Okay, great. Oh! Oh, that's nice. I have an idea. Oh. Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. Alright, let's go convince her. Or is there something else that needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles, turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. We wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Okay. Let's go talk to the girl. Third floor. I sure hope she's not mad at us. Let's see here. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I said made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me. Oh, shit. Damn. What's going on now is you're going to coo into this walkie-talkie, huh? And tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand that we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, please do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Uh, hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ro room 405, I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, nothing. I'll be there. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. All right, good. Let's go. I let go of her now. And do, do you think she'll do what she wants us to do? Okay, I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Laylee, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got a lighter. Oh shit. You go back up to finish the ritual. Okay. Now what? To finish the ritual, you must light the candles and turn on the music. Okay. Candles have been lit. The music is on. Yes. So now what am I supposed to do? 
Aha, something's here. Who are you? I can't see. You're asking me my name, human? Uh, what do you offer? Uh, yikes, did I mess this up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shocked. The warden reaches for its gun. Ah, him. I offer him. What the... Ah! Oh, he's dead! Nice! So, well, how was it? Human with tar-colored colored soul. I give you this. Got an unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. The entity is left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, all that happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't even get its name nor ask it for a favor. It just did what it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was laying around its demon pockets. But no matter. The warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. You decided not to linger on the fact that your soul was apparently viscous, pitch black mess. I guess you already knew that. Well, let's loot this guy's gun. Got the key a second floor, got a gun. Okay, all right, good. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding, hee <laughs> hee. I'll probably shoot the lady though. Okay, let's go kill her. Go to the third floor. Yeah, let's go there. Okay. Oh, oh she's already dead. Your plans of splattering the lady's brains in a wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let it go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. True. True. Mm. What's that insinuating? Probably that the body's still warm. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and I was here wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot, too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are whenever it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Okay, that makes it fine, then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch, and then the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cock brain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, uh, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. Jesus. This girl is a fucking demon. You... You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yes. All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. I bet you bloody love it. Here, where I can't as much take a piss without you knowing, huh? And I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I, what, what, it's a prime, what a prime example of your, 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 you just you. 
Ha! <laughs> you would. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want to be, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you. You know, I have just a thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like it was back then. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want, then? Well, see, if you'd have listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Now, of course we are, just... Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh, no you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. Pull a talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock the- Oh, the girl in the crate! I forgot about her! Where the fucking cunt choked, ha ha ha. Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy, my poor Andy. Ah, uh, so... That just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me! You backpedaling fuck of a brother, you chose me, you did! Ah. Oh, he chokes her? So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. Oh my god. You won't. You can't, because I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night, and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. Now, I'd like to go now, with Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like the girl did? No, of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you, can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. And I'll make such a scene, too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here, and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said, there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not gonna just be the two of us, then forget it. Ooh, he let her go. I don't... I don't give a shit about... I'm glad she died. Oh, shit! I'm glad she choked? Damn! I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, you're saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Ah, oh, that's right. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Laylee like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. I mean, she is a crazy bitch. I mean, like, whenever you really put it into perspective, you know what I mean? Mm. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yeah, so I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. Huh, maybe later. Haha. <laughs> let's get out of here, Andrew. Okay, well, let's, let's... Well, can we do anything with the body? Dead as stone. Your happiness is immeasurable. What's in here? 
I already checked. There's nothing there. Snooping around a lady's bathroom, were you? I had to wash her blood off me. Oh, right. Excuse accepted. Thanks. Can I see what she's on the TV? No. Food? Food? No food? Fuck. Okay. Um... Now I guess we'll go back to the house. Go to... Ooh, I don't know. Where should we go? You said I missed something? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. Oh yeah, I thought that was a piece of wood. A nail gun. No, I can't do anything with that. Yeah, I would, but I can't. It's just a fucking nail gun. Save before picking two different options. Okay. Okay. The game has been saved, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the second floor. Ooh, there's a camera. Ah, look, an open window. Great, jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn, isn't there like a rope or something we can climb down? I don't think we should go near the fucking camera, man. We climbed down the window using this carpet. I'm not sure how it's going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah, and I'll just jump down into your arms while we're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. No, it won't. We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we sit down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. Got the carpet. Oh, I can't... Oh, now we go get the nail gun. Oh, this is good. This is perfect. Got the nail gun. Oh, there it is. Okay. Go this way. The two of you use the nail gun to the nail the carpet to the wall. It doesn't look safe. Now, uh, there's got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. Uh, I mean, I guess. Okay, you go first then. Damn right I go first. I'm a lady. You climb down un very unladylike. Oh, shit. Oh, we made it. No way in hell will we climb it back up. But what if I forgot something? Then it's forever lost. Too bad. Sheesh. Wish you'd told me that before. Oh, shit. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town. And we'll find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. And then we'll steal somebody's identity or something and continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? As long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First thing, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID, and then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work there, too. I, even then, I don't know. I think it's going to... Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. It'll work out. Unless we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't pay the toll, the cross. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything's gone to crap. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. Aww. That's nice. That's nice. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called uh, while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would come in handy whenever it comes to avoiding certain things. Yeah, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah? Oh, yeah, completely stuck. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. 
You get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. Vroom vroom, end of episode one. Want to save or something? Save game. Episode two, Graves. What the fuck? You're finished up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. It's been a week. The odds that something now is non-existent. Let me check. Uh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Technically, I have money. I can't just use it without giving away where I am to the bank. So no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my fucking ID for everything. Like, goddamn, I just want to stay at a hotel. What do you need to know of who I am? I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I'd bail out on them. Boo-hoo, the motel is just fine, too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. Huh. <laughs> what? I think I left my gun back in my room. What a fucking idiot! She left the gun? I wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey, now, we can't be constantly shitting ourselves over after every one little thing. True. Let's just get back into the motel before someone breaks in and steals the damn thing. Okay, let's go back to the motel. Oh, let's talk to this girl. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. In that case, might I interest you in... Might I interest you in leaving me the fuck alone? The service here is better than usual. Fuck off from here. Okay. All right. Bio waste. Maybe you start eating it once the money here was. Uh oh. Mixed waste. Chair. Recycling point seems to double as a smoking area. Two. Unemployment office. One. Blank. Mixed waste. Chair. Recycling point seems to double as a smoking area. Two. Unemployment office. One. Blank. Okay. Staff only, it says, and it's locked. Oh, fuck. I can't do anything. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, no. I thought we were going to be able to get inside. Okay, let's go this way. And then you got run over by a car. Just kidding. Get off the fucking road, stupid. Okay. I didn't I didn't realize that's what was happening. I had no idea. What's this? There's a bunch of call girl ads stuck to the wall. Oh, maybe I should leave my number here. Absolutely not. What? We need the cash, and it'll be tax-free to boot. Say another word, and I'll backhand you. Sheesh, learn to take a joke, jackass. Learn to make a joke, dumbass. You're so out there, I can't tell whether you're being serious or not. I'm obviously not being serious. We don't even own a phone right now. And would you goddess to God backhand me just like that? Well, not right here, anyway. Okay, wife beater. Haha. <laughs> no, don't say that. It's only towards you, honestly. Gee, thanks. Okay. What's this? Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. A soft drink ad. There are three new and exciting flavors. Limited time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Come on, it's just a couple of bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner. It's up to you. This sucks. It's limited time too. Can I go this one? This park is just where there's nothing interesting in this hour. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay. Is this where we're at? Oh, I was right. Oh, this is a nice place. Andrew's been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. Oh, she's picking up her clothes. Oh, wow. It's pure from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. The closet's empty, wow. except for... Reclaimed your... Oh, we got the gun! Oh, that's good! 
Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Wow. Only then to have a panic attack every other night. That's true, yeah, both the pillows are on one bed. There's no pillow. Get your fat ass out of the way. Ass, I think you aw I think you mean my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. Move, you cow. Whatever, wanker. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. What's this? There's an article about a chemical leak in a city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Okay. You throw the laundry in a washer. Oh, that's nice. I did that. All done. You're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and I clean and I'm a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. You're not gonna be in the news, Andy. See, he's worried they're gonna catch him, man. Haha, -ha. I should have known. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, Andy? You gonna choke me out again? Are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticism. Shove it up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Because I'm getting the exact opposite oppression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's really like whenever I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you how awful I really am? Go for it. Although you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now some less important news. Out of the quarantine apartments has just been a, a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died! Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences for the family members of the deceased. This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess, better burned to the ground. Therefore, it's so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommend for you to try Toxic Soda. We just rolled out three new exciting, uh, new and exciting flavors. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to drink our trusty Bubbly Poppy, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out your ass, unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that's all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Uh, they must think we died too and all the evidence of our escapades, let's say, has been incinerated. I wonder about that. Huh, I told you it'll all work out. That still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever. Things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. Good night. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Someone has entered the room. Huh? What the fuck? Oh. Hey, wake up. We've got to go. Uh, what? Get up. I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. Okay, let's go. This isn't the room you're staying at. Thank God for that. Putrid stench. Okay. Can I get in the car? No. Okay, let's go to the park. 
Okay, we can't go to the park? Hmm. I guess we have to go this way then. Get the gun? Hmm. Want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up? I already picked up the gun. I picked it up earlier. Want to see if the killer actually shows up. And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. And they will, I'm sure. And you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because of the crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent, too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Hmm. Damn! She said, I said enough! Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. No. Hmm? Okay, for you, it wasn't the guy you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? No, don't say that out loud. Oh, didn't we chop that guy up and store him in the freezer? Actually, come on! Hee <laughs> hee, seriously though, I guess that's where more- I guess there's more where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Why, a sex and drug party with demons, duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be there. You really don't want to stand here in the middle of the night. But you're curious about what the cultist lookalike is up to. Oh, fine, you go, but come back soon. You're Andrew? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, good, you're not going after all. What? I'm just... Do you see which way he went? Into the alley, right? Okay, let's go this way. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can run. Curse you brats. It's asking for a passcode. I don't know what the passcode is. Nothing happens. I'm sure they'll have it somewhere. Cardboard recycling, apparently approved by the devil, if graffiti on the wall is anything to go by. Yeah, you guys are right. Probably is. Elevator arrives! And of course. I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. Uh, uh, who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event, shoo. Is this the sex and demons party? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there's no demon sex party. Oh, well, just regular demon summoning then? Well, I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly, right? Sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. All right, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That literally just means six eyes is getting popular. We should be getting glad. We should be glad. Our neighbor was part of those little guys' club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations. Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor actually managed it, but... You decide you should get inside. Inside somehow and find out. Okay, can I go through here? Locked. Fuck. Uh, what do I care about these clowns are up to anyway? You decide that the way forward doesn't strike before you. Before you're done with your smoke, you just call it quits. And then just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got the employee. Oh, here we go. Open the door. Oh, nice. The top layer is full of cake! Well, I want one. Where's my fucking food? The drabbest set of drabbery you've ever laid your eyes on. Someone has left a note. It reads, To whoever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet.
There's a crumpled note in the trash. It reads, stop eating my lunch, you animals. The buttons won't work without a swipe tag. Okay, so I can't do that. Cleaning closet, nothing's worthwhile. Oh, fuck. Fuck. There's nothing here. What's with the cakes? Isn't it a bit late to leave for a work meeting? Oh, oh, oh. the elevator's coming up. Oh, okay. Nice. This is going to take two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Okay, I'm going to get inside. The, I'm gonna, I want to get inside of it. Remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd be seen instantly. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Um. You pull down one of the curtains. You got the curtain. Okay. You wrap yourself in a curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. Hmm. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. Hmm. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He hauls you, carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the others? Gasp, could it be the weight of my sins? No! Okay, be cool. Nobody has to know. It's between me and the devil. Just act normal. Did, did I miss? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Should I? Ahem. Well then, everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now, show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while, but it's becoming increasingly clear that nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something on our first try. That's probably not a good thing, is it? Hmm. I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Hmm. I brought the carts down. But someone stole the cakes, and I don't know who. Mm, can we have some now? Sigh. Yes, please enjoy yourselves. Uh, where are your robes? Uh, sorry, the thing is I spilled some coffee on them. Idiot. Now that you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. Oh, Jesus. He's too busy eating cake to care. Wow, someone's underdressed. These cheap asses offer milk for coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I've ever drank piss. Whatever. It should be fine to take two pieces, right? I mean, look how many there are. Who's this guy? No service right now. <laughs> I'm on stage. It's like I'm famous. Oh. She's begun singing. People are staring. Time to get out of here. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's run. Okay, wait. How do I... How the fuck do I leave? I, I go this way? I see. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, they're done? How'd the summoning go? Uh, no. Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that getup. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. No, I'm g good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Oh, that's nice. It's like Among Us. Are you done snooping on the cultist? Yeah. So apparently there's a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like... You hear a car. Oh shit. It's the guy who slit our throats in our dream. Yikes, he really just went in our room just like that. You still doubted me? 
Where'd he get the key? Should we just leave? Are we supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway? Our stuff is still there. What stuff? We sold most of it at Jump that you were hoarding. And I can leave without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed it out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, somehow I'm even less inclined now. You know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically sent after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down, even if we were run away now. Won't he keep coming for us? That's not wrong, but uh, why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. If I was him, I'd figure uh, that we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Upon. He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision. And you know this how? I know this because that's what I do. Duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought things through. Your question? You question not why she's thought about such things. Yeah, probably a good idea. Now enough dilly-daddling. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. And then we'll lure him somewhere less uh, conspicuous. And then, you have to ask? Sigh. Okay, let's go in there. Should just get the dude's car, but okay. Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Oh, I did that. Uh, which, I may add, was also your idea. I was 12, you shouldn't have stopped me. So you, should I talk you out of this one too, or no, shut up and follow my lead. You're now Ashley. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly Andrew, I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let's return to the gas shop at once. Since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take the shortcut through the park where we may frolic amongst the foliage, shielded from sight. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given you're about to roam about with Hitman around, would you like to save game? Yes. Oh, good. Can we go? I didn't pick up my things yet. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Where's her things? Got washed laundry. Okay, so we're done. Alright, we're good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Holding the door open for me. Wow, what a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Okay. Let's go. Just go like this. Is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. Okay, how about this? An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. Hmm, this tree will hide us nicely. Where are we gonna if he just stays in a motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Oh, what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it! Oh shit, she gives him the gun! She wants him to do it! You're making me do it again?! Dude only has a knife! You've got this! I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait, I've never fired a gun. Crap. I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either, not without letting him know that you know he's here. Crap, do we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? Why'd he stop? To see what we're up to. I bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't even look like anything. He shouldn't be able to see us from behind like this. Then an idea hits you. Ooh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. Oh, tee hee. Uh oh. Come and find me. I don't want to. Ashley, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. Time is fun to come to play hide and seek with a killer. Where is he? There are some bugs in the bush, but not much else. Nothing here. 
Nothing. Who? Oh? oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? Shh, you didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you? Shh, leave! Okay. There's nothing here but a bunch of branches that have been bent. There's nothing here but trash in a bush. People think they're so clever hiding their candy wrappers and beer cans here. Nothing here. Uh-oh. Looks like someone gone through the bushes here. Well, who is it? Maybe it's over this way. Found a used condom! You choose not to take it with you. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Nothing here. Oh, there he is! Shoot! Boom, bitch! Boom, bitch! See ya! Did I- is he dead? Nice work! Ashley reclaims your gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing! I panicked. This thing is useless now. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone? Or do you need a license or something? Well, I have no idea. Sorry. I actually thought I wouldn't have wasted him if you had maybe shoot him. You still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was that? You're running out of the blue. But you need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now the hitman thought you were looking for me. He sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. And what if he was in a bush you ran off into, genius? Well, he wasn't. Quit your bitching. It all worked out. Clue me in next time you have these genius ideas. So I can tell you off. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Do we just leave him here? Well, why not? As long as somebody saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hey, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. No, yeah, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes and walks their dog or something. Got the car keys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. What for? My driver's license. Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse, then. Okay. I guess we could get the car. Oh, I thought I could leave. Never mind. Okay, so I can't. Alright, let me go back. Oh, wait, what's this? An attempt or several has been made to place trash where it belongs. So close. They were all so close, but they couldn't quite stick the landing. Can we get in the car? Oh! Okay. There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included some free samples of all the new soda flavors of our sister company. Happy washing! Are we the laundry? Seems that way. Yikes. Take the car and go. Should we go? Vroom vroom? Yeah, let's go. So, where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Wait, wait a second. She said that she had... Wait, 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 hold up. She's in the driver's seat, but he's the one with the driver's license. Because she implies that she never got a driver's license because she didn't get her fingerprints taken. That'll be fine. Uh, we're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. Fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear and not the others? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's just go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. Though I inherited some jewelry from... I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Hmm. 
No, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer, is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think they're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems that they uh, they assume that guy that took care of us, and that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Oh, we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great! You just said we can't talk to them anyway, so they might as well be dead. Well, I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? I don't know the place, but I don't know the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. The only thing she'll t she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured out I'd tell you then. What a sloppy job you did. Don't forgive me, Ashley. Do, you, do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okay. Feet on the floor. Oh! My god, it's not even your car! Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled the fuck over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to rob our parents? I said, make me, Andy. Okay. What do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on. It's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. Yeah, it is. You get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You keep going Andy, Andy, until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly, it's Andy and Laylee and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well, then it's not funny, and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. Damn. Damn, she turned it around on him. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want to get us in trouble. You don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do, though. When you're such a dumb ass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Drive Andrew. And then he does, finally. He decided to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. Yeah, it sounds about right. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time, you feel wide awake. Oh, this is a nice place. Look at this. What's the tree for? Hmm. Soul? What? Who's there? Where are you? Where am I? It's another vision or what? There's no response. There's nothing to step on. Okay. Um... Okay. Hmm. Do I need a rock or something? Hmm. Picked up red flowers. Oh, I see. I see. That throw down some red flowers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is such a nice place. I'm going to come down from the bottom. Tar soul summoned you can't tune in what you're all muffled i can't hear anything the voice continues talking but you can't make heads or tails of it now oh, whatever i should focus on getting out of here anyway okay what about this oh i see i see okay Fuck! Where am I? Everything looks the same. Okay. 
Okay, let's go back over here. And then we'll put the flowers down over here. Threw down some red flowers. Oh, look who it is! It's the demon! Well, you just evolved, uh, avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky. Ah, no, it's you. I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream. I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of this soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know that I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about your... You about... All right, I'll be right back. The demon could care less about the lover spat you're having with your brother. It carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You've used my gift. What? Was it useful, seeing the future? Yes, the trinket you gave me, it's been very useful, thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mined. So if that was it, then not yours, tar soul. Is that like an insulter? Well, who then? Just anybody's? And why don't you just go get your souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm, unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm uh, I'm all I can't say I'm that interested either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, will you make my talisman trinket damn thing work again? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of... Uh, I don't know. Something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk to about this. I will be waiting. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Farewell, tar soul. The entity is left. Okay. Uh... Why don't you go back and get the other one? I get this one here. Okay. There we go. Ooh. No, fuck. What's up the top? I see. Nice. Nice. There's a... I don't know which one to go. I'm gonna go down this one. This door is decorated with eyes. Enter? <laughs> Why not? Ooh! What's this? Whatever this looks, it looks unfinished. What the fuck? I see. I understand. Okay. Let me talk to the giant eye. Tar soul. Oh, hello again. This is not your path home. Oh. Up here is my realm. You must return to your own. Oh, I thought I was already in the demon world. This is the realm in between. Entering the wrong realm unsummoned will result in your death. Hmm, so it's fine as long as you're summoned. Why not summon me to your realm? Why why summon me there, here in this crap land instead? Return home. I am expecting these souls. You can't tell me there's another realm and then not show it to me. Return now. Ah! 
Where am I now? This is so tiresome. I've had up to here with these stupid fucking flowers. There's no escaping here. Well, I killed all the flowers. What the fuck? Oh, there's one more! I forgot about the other one! Gotcha, bitch. Ah! Ashley! Auntie, is that you? Get me out of this shithole! Wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying! Do something, help me. Ah. Uh. Oh, thank God. It was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Why? That would even screw us over more, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. What time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something. Mom and Dad should be both at work right now. So whenever you're ready, I guess. Hmm. You're only being treated nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Jesus! Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. Hmm. Sigh. So anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. Haha. <laughs> I mean, boo-hoo, no thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. But I'm so nice that I'll roll for it for now. Why on earth we had some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down this slope. Okay, let's go down this way then. Ice cream. Okay, let's go down here. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, this has got to be it. She did sound happy whenever she talked about their new place, so... What's their last name, anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplate's on the doors. They go with, uh, Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change it at this point? I don't know, to throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Gray son. Shitter. Uh -huh. Joan Jonas. It's this. Hmm, here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Okay, maybe we go in through here. Oh, yeah, come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. It doesn't matter. We'll fill our part pockets and go. Hmm, I think this window's open. Can you reach it? Nope. Okay. Hmm. The back door is locked. Check under the flower pot. Got a key. Not. There's fuck all under the flower pot. Well, shit. Got a wooden plank. Okay. Placed on the wooden plank. Oh, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well, that's no good. It's open, but it's held in place by a latch. It's on the other side of the window. My fingers can't reach it to unlock. I'll push you up after you've opened the latch. You're just looking for an excuse to touch my ass. Okay. Two things. First of all, no. Secondly, like I'd need an excuse. Haha. <laughs> now hurry up and find something before I slap you. On my ass or the face? That, milady, I'll let you find out. Uh, -huh. so it's the face. Fine. I'll find something to unhook the latch with. Okay. That's a stick. Got a stick! We got a stick! Let's see, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd rather you just open a door for me. Oh yeah, that'd be easier. I'm trying to handle, but no water comes out. Bro, nobody has, like, is this game, like, there's there's just no water in this game, period. Yeah, it's just no water at all. Oh, this is a nice place. Welcome, welcome, thank you, not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. 
Yes! And to think that you'd open the door with such swiftly and with such grace. Stunning, marvelous, breathtaking. Those are but a few words that I use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great, let's split up and get out of here as fast as possible. Something I was wondering about. Can it wait? Our situation's kind of time sensitive. What well, can I guess? And tell me later. Hmm. Mail? I find a letter. It reads, Sorry you hear about what happened with the kids. I agree. It was probably a blessing and... Damn! Damn! Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter can have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. What's this? Okay, I already went in there. Okay, can I get the fern? Can I steal the fern? No, I can't. Fuck. Okay, what about this here? It's a phone to your mother. Uh, it's the phone your mother never calls you with. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here? So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general at our last place either. True. But now that there are some, why not of us too? I guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right. Maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty! And you're supposed to be robbing a house. Get to it. A fireplace? They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew, yes? This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses anyway. But is this household? Fuck if I know. They're both so stupid. The dresser is locked. And it still is. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to in this bed. Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some... Ugh. You close the closet. Okay, let's go down to the bottom. Ooh. There's a bed? What? Parents only lived here for a few months, but they've somehow managed to hoard all the stuff like a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. And the Bexter bed implies there are either no issues in their social life either. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Cleaning supplies such as vinegar. Well, dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. The floor drain seems a little bit clogged up, but it's not your problem. And like the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. On the top, lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Got the dresser key. Oh, shit. A metal box full of screwdrivers. Well, that's good. Christmas decorations. Oh, lovely. Just what we needed. Let's go use the... Let's go open a dresser. Oh, where's the, where's the guy? There he is. Our parents seem to have picked up some new exciting hobbies. Tell me more. No, I don't think I will. But it seems to make sense like mom kept harass hassling us to move out. Oh, you found a key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opted for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It's the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept calling, telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone's entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. It's a shame that you wasted all our bullets. Like we shoot anyway. Is there someone there? Oh hi mom, it's just us. Welcome home, Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home, Sir Didn't did, did you get fired? 
It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. What about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. I guess I'll make some coffee. Okay. Meat, wine, looks like your parents had a night planned. Damn. There's not much in the fridge right now. He's putting away groceries. Okay. You brew some coffee. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? Why do you care? Ashley. First we got evacuated, and then after they gave us the go-ahead to leave, since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Hmm, interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, we are here now, neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, you sure look like it. Uh, so, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Huh, I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue nights here with the neighbors. Barbecue events just like on TV. I thought it was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. I bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? Haha. <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Oh boy, I can't wait to see how Dad's been. He must have had all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. Sigh. I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. Okay. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead and make something, you smooth talker, you. You don't know what to make yet. I don't know how to fucking make anything. What, I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. Mm. Okay. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind, where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover uh, over you for now. Found a simp soup recipe. You need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Chop everything up, boil in a pot. Okay. Got meat? Well, where's the other ones? You cut the meat and the chopped meat? You have nothing more to cut? How do I fucking... You don't have all the ingredients prepared. I mean, we're, I, I can't get all the other fucking food. Where the fuck's all the other food? Where'd the bag of food go? What the fuck? Oh, it's take her purse. Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. Nice. It's nowhere near enough. Okay, well, at least we stole some money. That was good. Okay. Uh, maybe we go down here? Oh, she's down there. Maybe I'll check her room? No, nothing there. Because there was only meat. There wasn't any of the other food. Don't you two ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I need is to grow fonder of that nightmare of a woman. Well, where the fuck do I get the food, bro? Where the fuck do I get the food? Where the fuck is the food? It's in the garden. Oh, yeah! I forgot about the fucking garden. 
I forgot there was a guard. Holy shit. Got potato. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just need to figure out how this will go. Now that we'll see us leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please, just let me figure something out, alright? You get the feeling that she has something more to say. But you can tell whatever it is is going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Okay. Can we make the food? Cut the potatoes. There it is. Did you use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. Okay, you throw the ingredients in a pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something's up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Nah, you're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. So... No, 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 none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge this clairvoyant dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try and tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. How the fuck would he know that? Shame on me for expecting anything out of you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Oh, it was riveting conversation. What do we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Picked up dishes. Okay. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon the prime suspects will be? Well, certainly not their two dead kids. Well, were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them that we're alive, but we've also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me like she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's, a kind per she's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about seeing so careful, but when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? I bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me like it was the same as ever. You kidding me? Okay, listen. I choose, didn't I? I, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying that you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you'd keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. And that's not what I'm talking about. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Laylee. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm still here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the only one. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. 
I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Now isn't time to do this anyway. Let's just leave. We'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. We're leaving anyway. With the trinket charged, we'd at least have means to stay safe. I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. What's his hand doing? Ahem. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. Hmm? I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could stay with? Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your 20s. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. Oh, damn. Damn, she knows. That's a tall order, after all, our earthly possessions just got burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. All right, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? No, I'm not that tired yet, though. You're under my roof right now, and you will do go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh, sleep now or get out. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. The freezer isn't full of human meat. Was that good or bad? Greetings, neighbor! That's how arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, naught but the flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even, re even recently passed ones. Yeah, it's called Dark Souls. That's the, uh, the language they're speaking in. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It's time for you to compartmentalize. What ails thee? Should I get these? The pan is empty. Oh right, Ashley already cooked one. What the fuck? The candle holder is empty. Oh. What are you doing here? Eh. Actually, no, don't answer, I don't care. Get lost, you're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You. You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. Oh, shit. Stop following me, you little shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. Huh, no way. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. I probably should have killed her, right? And my, my lemon muffin has no candles. I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it, then. That way you can pretend you ate a cake and you won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool anyway. Okay, whatever. Okay. What about this one? Ooh, let me get that. Laylee places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. You use your lighter to light the candle. Oh, shit. Ah. 
How the fuck? How the fuck? Oh. Good one. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Sigh. Well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. You've reduced yourself to an errand boy for a Laylee that doesn't even exist. Way to go, loser. Jesus. Maybe I go through here? Can I go that way? I can't. Ooh! Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. The trash is full of letters, mostly death threats. A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Just a second. It's your ex over dormitory room. Okay. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? Julia. You've been quiet all day. What's up? No, it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much buildup, you kind of have to now. Well, okay, but please don't get mad. When I ha when have I ever raised my voice with her ever? You know you can tell me anything. Um, I just talked to my sister about what you said the other day, and she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even for our own sake, you know? And maybe for our sake, too. I think it'd be nice if you could stay over more often. And not, like, cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I'm not reprimanding you. Uh, I can't make her learn anything, though. No, but you could. Like, you know, not always go whenever she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but only if she asked me if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or maybe brought this up at all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still stuck up about what happened to your friend way back then. Ashley may not look like it then, but I think it affected her a lot then. So it's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mutter, mutter, she's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, no, nothing, go on. Anyway, I worry about something like ha like that happening to her. Or happening to you. Oh, I can't let either of you out of my sight. Oh, how nice. I'll be, f I'll be fine if you're with me. Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no. You'll pull on it again. Huh. <laughs> but don't you know that's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. It's been that long, I just forgot with our all chaos going on. Okay. Oh, she's not gonna like that at all. You have 127 new voicemails. What the fuck? Based Andrew? Yeah, true. Okay. We'll go talk to her again. Oh! Wait a second, wait, what's this? Oh, I can't do that, okay. All right. Okay, I guess I'll get our color and pencils. Okay, that's smart. Okay, let's go back over to here. Based Andrew cheating on his sister? True, man, that's fucked up. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm, good call. Whatever it is, thank you. I'll give you a candle. Treat carefully as if you were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Oh, shit. Not cool. That's the flames for you. <clears throat> ah, boo, you suck. Got a candle. Oh, I can go light this one over here then. Okay. Can we listen to voicemail? No, it doesn't let you. 
Place it and lit the candle. What the fuck? Actually, it would have wanted you to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend that there hasn't even been a mention of her on the news. Surely, someone found, uh, found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation go on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back whenever he and his buddies still fed you, and this one was always leering at her. Never mind. There is one regret. You wish we could have killed him slower. Jesus. This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you that someone, uh... Someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. There ha we have killed three people so far. We found Ashley and... Wait, what? There you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you gonna cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. Oh, yeah. Well met, young graves. Thee possesseth the absent limb. The fuck? Rip the voicemails? Oh, I didn't see that. Let me guess, 127 voicemails. It's the sister being psycho, right? I, I guarantee you that's gotta be it, right? A hundred fucking percent? It's a little consequence to thee. Yeah, a hundred fucking percent. I should have known that. I thought I wasn't able to use it. Place the limb in the freezer. Oh, that's good. Okay, let's go back over this way. No? Hmm. Oh, what's this? Got a limb? Okay. Got a limb. Oh, wow, we got more limbs. That's great. Oh, there's this one, too. We got all of them. Dost thou reckon my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I did not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust perchance it may cook, but to burn, I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindle the flame which engulfed all. True! Placed all the limbs in the freezer. This reminds you of something. Oh, yeah! Oh, I remember that. Oh, no! Was he sad? Because they locked a girl in the box? Rise and shine, shine Nina. Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There's no ants. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's in the box? I guess she's still sleeping. Oh, shit. Laylee kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't... You open the crate. Andy? Oh, shit. They fucking killed her. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh shit, oops, yeah. Wait, what? Why is she dead? How did What this can't be right? What's going on? Whatever. If you're so weak that you just die like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Just shut up, shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Since you took the stick off, it looks like she she went there on on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed to the crate until her fingernails split if she was if she was there willingly? No, oh, well, it's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. Well, no, she'll start rotting, and then someone will come and find her. I mean, her family is already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they check back here. So what do we do then? I. Fuck. Let's just hide it then. What, huh? 
If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're going to know. They're going to find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too. If it's fine, it's fine if it's the both of us. No, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Guys and girls don't go to the same prison. They're going to take me away, take you away from me. How was I supposed to know that? You figure something out then, since you're so smart. Okay, let's just... Like, move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig up a grave for her. All right, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, that's probably fine. But first we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. Okay, let's get the tarp. This will have to do. You wrap Nina's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. Oh. Oh, yeah, we'll just bury her. That's a good idea. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured the wooden planks work well. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy spot to dig. Got a wooden plank. The corpse is wrapped up inside the tarp. Okay, so like, maybe like right here? Maybe here? I'm tired. Yeah, and this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits in here just fine. Okay, fine. Okay. You and Laylee put the body into its grave. Oh, we gotta carry it. You have to cover the body. Oh yeah, you're right. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Oh, well, it looks fine to me. No, it can't be this. This is too obvious of a spot. It needs to be hidden, too. Wanna hide it with some leaves and stuff? Got foliage. Some more foliage is needed. Okay. Some more foliage is needed. Even more? Jesus. How much foliage is needed? Where the fuck is it? Oh, there's some over there. I didn't see that. Okay. Oh, there's even more! Okay, how about now? Oh, that looks so much better! Also, this is getting blown away by the next breeze. There's gotta be something to hold them all in place. A oh, rock, a rock. Put a rock down. Put, put a rock down. What's this? Oh, maybe this rock? Got a stone. Okay. Nice! It makes me want to write her name on it. Out of the question. I wasn't gonna do that, I was just saying. Sigh. What's it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know that if, uh, if you don't think about something for a really long time? Did you know that if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like it never happened? Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Look at that. How nice. Yeah, that's really smart. Oh, Raid? Kirshi? Oh, thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stream Raid? Yeah, thank you. Yo, what up, boys? How y'all doing? We're having fun over here. Let's forget all about it. Laylee, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time... You'll honest to God keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it anyway? I don't remember anymore. Sigh. There, there, it'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Well, who's gonna play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. I guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. I'm your best friend from now on. You already were. Don't lie to me. I'm not, I think. Whatever it is. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble, too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine, because I'll be around you now. Because you'll be around now. 
God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore. Because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's just always be friends, okay? Be my friend, or else. I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Hmm. Can I eat your ice cream? Go for it. Oh, really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you say anything? Nope. I only asked Julia if she was expecting to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told them, that, uh, told her mom that she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come and see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask. But Julia said she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. Your promises mean fucking nothing. Huh, why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I gave you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass. Oh, wait, I see how it is. You're still pinning for that bitch. Here we fucking go again. Oh boy. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you? It's never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. Oh my god. I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? Jesus. Rude. Oh, should I go get a knife? You pick up a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Huh. <laughs> well, shit! Someone's being interviewed on TV. Before starting your soda company, isn't it true that you used to be a surgeon? Isn't that right? I'm actually a doctor, so trust me. One can of toxic soda a day keeps me far, far away. When even the doctor tells me to indulge, how can I not? Ha <laughs> ha! What do you plans do you have in the future? First of all, with such great demand comes a great need for water, which is why I've partnered up with several water distribution companies. I hope this isn't the start. I hope this is the start of a long-lasting friendship where the people on TV ramble on and on. What's oh, his dad? Hello, son. Hi, dad. Bye, Dad. Oh, no, no, I'm not jumping. Huh? Right, it's just a job. I can always find another. Your mother said I was too good for that one anyway. Wait, you got fired? Well, life goes on, I guess. Precious life. We're all important, Anders. It's Andrew. Sigh. I'll see what they've got for me at the unemployment office. Great talk, son. Okay. What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Okay. Keep my secret and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Guess. Huh, you're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Move over. I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't if you won't. I'm not buying that. Laylee, you're a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy sore spot just for you. 
Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ah, gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. That's cute. Hmm? Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I said I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Now, wait, no, I want a do-over. Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Uh, don't be like that. I'll, I'll make you a priority, just not the only... It's not enough. Why can't you just kill our parents? What? Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your cute little sister. I know you want me to. Or I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems. Kill them to feel something. Kill them for food. Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't. What is that supposed to mean? Look who's awake. Good morning. Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now, while they're asleep. We'll set up the ritual and do it. I've given you plenty of time to figure this out yet, yet you haven't. So we're doing it my way. Okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. That's not it. But you do have a point that Mom might snitch on us. I knew that even before we got our apartment. I don't know why I let myself think anything else after talking to her. It's because at your core, you're a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. How about that? Wow. It's an Alabama moment. Chomp. Now, what are you doing? A demonstration. God, you're so fucking dumb, I should... Andrew, are you still awake? Y yeah why are you still up? I thought you had work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you without Ashley. It's not really a good time right now. Look, I know it's late, but this is important. I've been thinking things over, and I believe I owe you an explanation. That's alright, I don't really need to know, I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was... Oh. Oh, go on, Mom! Don't mind little old me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For the love of God, this better not be what it looks like. Whatever. How does this look to- What the fuck?! <laughs> How does this look- What the- Where'd you get that?! What's it looking like now, Mom? Oh my fucking god, Ashley, come on! She got the cat! You know that there aren't any bullets left in the gun, but your mom sure doesn't. And Ashley, put that away, there's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going into the basement. And don't get any funny ideas, because I will shoot. Andrew, get a rope or something, I'm tying this bitch up. And don't kill Dad. You did not need to be told that. Okay. Let's go in and get the rope. On with other equipment. I wonder if this will be fine. Ah, oh, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Dad, son, what on earth are you doing? Sorry, I need to, uh... There's no good explanation why you're rummaging through their sex toys. And the truth is, I want to tie Mom up. Doesn't sound any better. I want to fuck myself. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. We got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. I can see that. Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. What's going on? 
Andrew, weren't you supposed to be masturbating? Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrists. Better not dwell on it, as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. Andrew. I'm just checking to see if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Andrew! I'm still looking for something to tie her up with. Look elsewhere. Don't talk to her. Get away from her. Don't even look her way. Oh, come on. I can't trust you to not get all misty-eyed. Eat shit, Ashley. Whatever, Marshmallow Spine. Go get the fucking rope or whatever already. I thought I had the rope. Yeah, I thought I had the rope. Not enough. Um... Beloved, don't test me. Okay, sorry. You get the sense whatever trust you had in you was quickly eroding. Okay. Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk either. Just shut up and wait. Why are you here? Did you find anything else to tie her up with? Save? Okay. Where the fuck is it? Lights. Oh yeah, the Christmas lights, you're right. Got Christmas lights, so I tie him up with that. You tied your mom up using the Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. All right, good. Now you remember how to perform the ritual. Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You go this far just for a quick buck. What's the pin and where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin and scribble it down on a note. Okay, I'm going to go try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't try anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin, and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. Sigh. Alright. It'll be quick. Got the credit card. Whoa, what are you doing here? You're back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It's amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah. So good, uh, go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flip-flopping. Wait. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. You're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. See you in a bit. Mm. Isn't that cute? You're now Ashley. With Andrew busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual. Or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involved blood, candles, and ca runes, candles, and blood. Music, runes, and a book. Well, I mean, kind of both, right? Because it needed the music as well? Yeah, like... I don't know, it's... It needed the candles. I know it needed the candles. I drew runes on the floor. Okay. I think that's it. You nod to yourself confident, please your memory. Something shouldn't be hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Okay. Two human-shaped sacks of blood sit on the floor, but you have nothing to cut them with. Okay, let me go get something from the kitchen. Oh, it's not the kitchen. Okay. Um. Oh, there's the knives right there. Got a kitchen knife. Okay, good. All right. And then we have to cut them open and then use their blood to make the ritual. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. 
But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time you left me to starve for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Aw, oh, gee, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. Ah, what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself uh, of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I'm a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint! Ah, uh, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they would have done to you if they had found out? Now then, you paragons of virtue. Let's see whose blood I should use. Which one should you cut? Uh, let's cut the mom. Ah. Honey. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about me. Uh, she wouldn't worry about you in return. Got blood. Okay, let's see here. Something like that. Now let's finish the drawing. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh, wow. Look, Ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you. You never... No, don't let her get a rise out of you. Candles, candles, candles. Okay, where are the candles? Um... Hmm... Maybe in here? I don't know where the fuck they are. The hell are they? The basement? These aren't candles. Hmm. Sex candles? Well, I don't know. Oops. Um. Okay. Hmm. Where the fuck could they be? Where are they? Among the toys? I just tried that. Got can- Oh, we got the candles! Nice! Okay. Alright, that's the candles I had. Welcome back! Okay. Aw, oh, oh, Andrew, give us a hug! You have to draw- you have a draw limit on your card! I do? I can only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. Ah, suck it, bitch! Being insufferable runs in the family. Ah, uh, well, I guess what? Now we have to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Okay. Off we go! Okay. You're in luck. It's customer service line that's just open for the day. Yet somehow, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Please hold. The representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold. The representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter millennia later, and Mother gets a hold of someone. Sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether. That's what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your car gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not being held at gunpoint here. Haha. <laughs> There you go, you're gold. Is there anything else I can help you with? Apparently not. Alrighty then, have a nice day! Now back into the basement with you. Don't think for a second I didn't see a stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Damn. The card should be freed now. Unlike your mother, who Andrew quickly... Uh, quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. Let's just say, it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though I already figured out as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why don't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them. Alright, fair. Give me the card, I'll pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but I mean, still. Just hand me the card, I... Actually, I really can't leave Andrew alone with Mom and Dad. Who knows what they'll say to him. And he's so wishy-washy enough as it is. 
You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Number one, let's save game. Hmm. I'm gonna trust him. Just give me the card, I'll go get the money. Got the credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? See you later. I'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio. But at least you can draw the missing runes. Now where did Ashley get all this blood? Got blood. Is she making you do this? No. Are you gonna kill us? Come on, of course not. Technically. Uh, this is what all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let her- just let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that. How about that? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. Okay. Your father doesn't have anything left to say. He's always been like that. Just uh, going on with your mother's whims. It hits you then that you're just like him. God damn it. There was something that I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a seven, a five-year-old to care for. Think you'd have fared better than me? I wouldn't know. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck-up. Don't say that. Honestly, we did fine. Oh, we'll just look where we are now. Anyway, you're such an easy child. I thought it would just be fine having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... I'm sorry, I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. Oh, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your, they're hiring your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though. There's a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you an olive branch. Decline. Well, about Ashley. I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way, okay? Let's not fight. There's a solution here somewhere, I'm sure. What were those death certificates about anyway? It's a life insurance scam. Nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor. Well, surgeon, technically. After they told us that you'll be stuck in the apartment, we got redirected to him. As far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had life insurance. Well, I got it for you two after you two got quarantined. It's kind of curious that they let you do that. So, when we died, were you in on it? Of course not! I really thought you had died. They said your bodies have been burned because of the parasites, and that's what I thought, and I never came to confirm it myself. She's full of shit. Where are you going? They're setting up this thing for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. We can sort this documents out. Hell, you can even live uh, here if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you, just like that. That's okay, I'm not really interested. What? But that, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not... Oh, I get it. What? You fucker. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Oh, that is disgusting, Andrew. She's your sister, for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, Mom? Then why does she give you... That all, makes all this worth it. Well, it's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. No, I just mean, yes you are, but I've never... I'm back! Now of all times. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got the money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? Oh, shit. Oh. I want to die. Alright, whatever. Summon the fucking demon already. Oh, so eager. Let's see if it shows up, though, since there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Andrew, light the candles. Oh, 
All right, get to it. Okay. Ahem. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Demon. I'm sorry that I don't have mood mu music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something, please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Dad, ah! Tar soul. What the fuck is that? I offer these two. Their screaming is short lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, the music wasn't needed to summon after all. Why'd I have to play it the last time? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. Oh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? However, you have my talisman now, and it makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Thank you. W what? hello This is the brother. That's right, my pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul. It's mine. I will see you again, Tar Soul. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. Oh, what, why me? Okie dokie, bye! The entity leaves. And that's it, the trinket's charged. What did it mean, I'll summon you? Who cares? What do we do with the bodies? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy, focus. Right, the bodies. Uh, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, having them gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere. Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation, right. So let's make them disappear. We can start by chopping them up. Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, Ashley. We're gonna make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Okay. I don't know how to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Or is a drain right there? Oh, right, you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. No, just dumb and an ass. Oh wow, check out this smart ass right here. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is Dad breathing? You take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Oh, he is. Mom, too. Uh... What the hell? How the fuck... How the fuck did this happen? You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs still draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul is just turns you into a vegetable. That can't be. The cultist died, and the warden, too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? I'm sure it didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, please tell me he wasn't alive whenever we ate him. Oh, shit! We ate him while he was alive? Oh, wow! Nice! Yeah, I didn't even know that! <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. Don't be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't that be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Oh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew. Look. Look here for a sec. What? Damn! What are you doing? There. All dead. Holy shit! Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. All right, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood down the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Oh, stop, stop. It's flooding, huh? What the hell? Gross. Oh, the drain's clogged up. And the lid's screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping up the bodies. I'll get something I'll unclog the drain with. Got a screwdriver. Okay. How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, you can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. Okay. 
Got vinegar. Okay. I guess baking soda is probably up at the top. Okay. Check the top cabinets. Got baking soda. That's what I thought. Okay, good. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some uh, vinegar. Wrong. The baking soda goes first. Who gives a shit? Baking soda goes down with the vinegar. Soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's going to have to get in there. But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine. Just let me get the gloves. Okay. Um, I guess probably the... Where the fuck were the gloves being? Hmm. Let's go up to the top. Stairs? Oh, I didn't see that. It was invisible to me. Got rubber gloves. I got it. Why? I just don't see things. Here you go. Have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what from the drain. Seemingly never ending him out of God knows what. Oh god, it's disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that's gross, Andy. Bold of you to call me that whenever I'm armed. Casp, you wouldn't. Come here, you. No, don't you dare. I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, I'm sorry, I apologize. Fine, you're spared, for now. The drain works, and let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents, and disembowel them, and decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy like you expected him to. Who is it? What? Oh, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. No, what? It's really nothing. I must be seeing things. What? To think that I'd ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just mopping over the fact that you're finally getting your hands dirty. And you? What? Are you doing all right? As all right as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're being weird. Oh my god. Look who's talking. Ha! <laughs> Enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butching your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? Uh, use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Got a pile of organs. Got a head. Okay. Torso. All the limbs. That's a lot of limbs. And then another head. Okay, good. Can we just flush it down the toilet? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Give me actually a minute. I have to make a phone call. I'm probably going to be uh, going over to my dad's in a bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready and do that. And uh, I, I would go longer. But I, uh, I, I have to pause at some point, right? But, uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I will save. Let me make sure I save right now. Did you guys have fun watching? Save. Okay, file four. Okay, save. All right, good. You guys liked it? That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's been a trip. Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I definitely do. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow, probably in the morning, and, uh, I'm good to, like, just... Okay, I'm gonna just make sure I save twice. Okay, good. Okay, we did it. Comfy stream. Yeah, I'm glad, uh, glad you guys liked it. It was good. Have a good one. Yep, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Peace out, brother. Take care. It's been a pleasant evening, Dad. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. And uh, I'll be doing that, and I will be back. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow, and uh, then we will uh, just continue. That's the plan. You gonna stream more of this one? Uh, yeah, I probably will. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or not. It just, uh, you know, I'll figure it out then. 
but yeah, I do plan on probably finishing it. I, I, I know it's kind of a short game, so I'm assuming that I'm actually kind of close to being finished. So uh, that's probably what, yeah, I'll probably what I'll do. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you all very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And I will be back on tomorrow. All right, boys. Peace. See ya.